in this video too. I thought so. Where's my cat? Look how big she is. Where's my cat? Hi, I know. Hello. Hmm. Okay, Mama, you go that way. You go that way. Hey there, Robin from Enemy America here. Now before I start this vlog, I got a haircut! I got a haircut. Look at that. Look at that. Look how cute I am. So I can't really follow through on my promise with the whole meatball head stingy. Whoops! But before I start the vlog, just want to get you guys' attention. I'm sure you noticed on our Twitter page and our Facebook page that WatchMojo is making a top 10 list for uh, anime YouTube reviewers. It's really exciting to hear because it's going to be highlighting a lot of talented pages that review anime. If you guys want to place in your votes and your opinions, just click on the link in the description box and place in your votes for your favorite anime YouTube reviewer. Have spread a little love from me. I was really uh, surprised to see that we actually made it into the top 10 list. I mean, you guys love us. You, you love us so much. Oh, thank you so much for all the love and support. And you guys are an awesome audience. If you guys haven't voted, just click on the link down below. Vote for your favorite anime reviewer. Maybe place in a little vote for me. Because you love me so much and you are an awesome audience and I love you so much. I'm really looking forward to seeing the video. I'm really excited to see who makes the top 10 list. So stay tuned to that. Alright, fine. Stay in the video. So I have to say, this is like my favorite episode of Sailor Moon Crystals. It's just like the manga, the animation looked beautiful. Just all the drama that went down, everything that just went down in this episode was just so cool to watch. I know a lot of you who probably had never read the manga were like, well, Venus is going next. What? She didn't go? Read the manga. You would have saw that coming. It's just like Game of Thrones. If you, if you read the books, you see everything coming. I know I said I missed the drama from the first uh, series where it's like Mamo-chan had to break up with Usagi to protect her and the Aikashi sisters versus the Sailor Scouts, but watching this episode I realized how much I love the drama from the manga where Mamo-chan felt insufficient, how Chibi Usa and Usagi were getting frustrated with each other because Usagi wants answers, she wants to find her friends, and Chibi Usa's like, please don't ask, I'm scared. What they did to my mom, please don't ask. I got demons, and it just makes a lot more sense than just bicker, 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 like in the first series. So I'm like leaning towards the story of this of this series a little bit more because everything just makes more sense. But I also love how they kept Momo Chun's figure. I, I'll admit, Toei is really keeping to the manga in a hilarious way because that's like a seven-year-old right there, six or seven-year-old little girl who's got an hourglass figure that can make any model cry. Is it because of the Chinese dress she's wearing is so tight that it gives six-year-olds boobies? I just, I don't know. This is just weird. Like, I thought it was weird in the first series, and I thought with this adaptation they would have fixed it. Nope. They they really kept in the Naoko style. It's like, oh, pff. Six-year-old in a Chinese dress with boobs. Let's keep it in there. So, kudos to you guys keeping keep keeping to the original material, I guess. And also, something that happened that didn't that hasn't happened yet in this series. Emerald talks. <laughs> I finally get to hear her voice. It's better than the whole <laughs> bullshit we had to go through in our childhood. I won't miss that. I won't. And like I said, the generals came back in this episode. Oh, and he should use their help more often. That's just like a great source of material. Like Usagi's got her girls, Mama Chan's got his guys. I just wish they were alive. <laughs> but now they're like an app. Mama Chan's in trouble. There's an app for that. The generals app. Boop. <laughs> like you summoned us, master. Yeah, I always saw this one. <laughs> I, I feel sorry for those boys now. And everything that I complained about in my Sailor March Madness with Mamachan feeling useless, not having any powers, just a rose and a stick, and that's all he's good for, at least in this episode it highlights his turmoil, how he wants to protect Usagi. He even questioned why he was born in the first place. Like, I'm useless. I've got no power. I'm useless to, to my princess. How can I protect her? And the generals are like, you have a power. You just need to reach down inside and see and believe in your strength. It pretty much like in the manga, my wish came true. Mamoru has a power. 
It's it's kind of silly to watch him chant it, but I'll take it. He he gets an upgrade. That's the only thing I wanted in this whole series, in the original series, I wanted Mama-chan to get an upgrade. It was always Sailor Moon and the Scouts getting an upgrade, never Mama-chan. I wanted Tuxedo Mask to have something other than roses and a cane. And sure enough, when like, Sailor Moon can't transform, Chibiusa's in trouble, and he's like, well crap, what do I do? And he uses his power. <laughs> I'm a fire and the laser! Tuxedo? La Tuxedo Mask has laser powers. <laughs> I think that's why it's my favorite episode. I'm a fire in my laser. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for Mamoru that he gets to talk to his boys and he gets laser powers. <laughs> this is why I love Sailor Moon Crystal. I know that the, the pace of the story is very rushed, but it's keeping to the original manga and... <laughs> It's tr it's giving Mamoru some character and some powers. That's why I love Sailor Moon Crystal. It gives Mamoru the attention he deserves. Let's smoke a bomber! Pew 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 pew! Rawr! Really looking forward to the next episode. We're going into the future! We're going to the future! We're going to the future, Clarabelle! We're going to the future! Oh. <laughs> My cat's being silly. It's Sea Sailor Pluto. Hopefully, well, not that dirt face that she said in the opening credits. You would think that like they would fix it after they fixed a few things from the first opening sequence when they gave Queen Serenity blonde hair. Uh -uh. Queen Serenity has white hair, and then they fix it. Thank you. I'm glad this arc is keeping to the original story of the manga. Looking forward to the next episode. Uh, I think you guys have noticed the posters in the background. Well, I uh, just want to ask you guys a question. Uh, we may be opening up a store that will allow us to sell our own prints. That's one with the cafe press, is that we can sell a few good things here and there, but when it comes to fan art, uh -uh. nothing related to any anime, we can't really sell much. So what we want to do is try to open up our own store, make some posters, and after posters make some t-shirts. If you guys are interested, leave a comment down below, and through your support we'll know if you guys want us to open up a store. We got some old designs here, right here, that never really sold at other conventions. So if you guys want one of these posters, let us know. I got like Kingdom Hearts and Mirai Nikki and Bravest Warriors, Bravest Warriors. So if you're interested in buying some merchandise from Anime America, leave us a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching uh, this vlog. Uh, coming up will be some more reviews as well as coverage from Kauai Con and coming up soon will be the Florida Anime Experience. So if you're going if you're in Hawaii, go to Kauai Con. If you're in Florida, go to Florida Anime Experience. You'll see one of us at those conventions. You'll see Ellie at Kauai Con, you'll see me at Florida Anime Experience. Once again, if you want to vote for your favorite anime reviewers on YouTube, just click on the link down below, place in your votes. Vote for Anime America Podcast. We love you. Yay! And some more awesome videos are on the way. We should be doing a review of Kofuku Graffiti, Assassination Classroom, and Death Parade. So I hope you guys uh, stick around for that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned, Anime America. Bye! Hey! We got a website! You should check it out. Link is in the description box down below. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr, so follow us! Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe to Anime America Podcast for more awesome reviews. If you're interested in anything of pop culture, check out our other awesome channel, Pop Spectrum. You'll be glad you did. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned to Anime America. I love how my cat just like ran to the other side of the room. It's as if she's trying to say, I've had enough of you. Fine, I've had enough of you. I'm a fire in my lady.